Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'd like to do a little video on some welding. Uh, last time I had my MIG welder out, I had just put new wire in it. And I was trying to tack up some stuff that I was uh, eventually going to TIG weld. And it was bouncing off the metal. And I just didn't even deal with it at the time. I just figured I would uh, go ahead and just use the TIG welder. And that was fine. It was actually better for me because I learned how to, uh, you know, kind of tack stuff up without first using the MIG. So it was good. Um, but now I want to pull out the... Uh, MIG welder and see if there was something wrong. I was on some pretty thick material, so I'm going to prep up some smaller stuff and I'm also going to uh, just do some welding passes with both machines, the MIG and the TIG. Um, I had questions uh, on some of the welding that I was doing on the uh, hitch, the receiver hitch, about some uh, fuse welding with the TIG welder uh, opposed to running filler rod in there. So we're gonna do a couple of, uh, with the same thickness materials, we're gonna do some, just some uh, fuse welding, and then we're gonna do some with filler, and then we'll take it over to the vise and see the strength. And it'll kind of show me, tell me a little something about those well let me get some metal prepped up and then i'll bring you guys right back okay so before we get started on the uh, mig uh, welding i noticed uh, right away that uh, what i think my problem was it it coming out and popping on the metal was i didn't have the thumb screw tight enough because when i came over here before i adjusted this i would push the button and i wasn't getting wire now I am, it says just tighten enough to feed wire. So I cranked down on the thumb screw. Of course, I made sure that my wire was in the proper groove over here for the O23. So I think we're good to go on that. Set up and do a little bit of welding. maximum on this 3 16 that's all that's all the more that they say that the machines rated even for and we'll just do this as a strength test Okay, show you guys this one real quick. Okay, flip it over and we'll do this side. that over a little later and we'll try that out so let me get set up I'm going to start uh, the uh, TIG machine up here let's uh, jump up to uh, eighth inch here and we're going to uh, do another uh, this is all just going to be um, fused and then we'll come back and do some and then we got one more thicker one here that we'll do the fused on each time we'll turn the machine up a little bit. On this one here, I'm going to go up to about 60, 65 on it. Okay, let's get going on this one. Okay. 
And I'm just hoping you guys can see this good. I'm really trying to give you a view of it. Okay, since this is a little thicker and we're going to do a little bit nicer job, I'm going to actually let this stuff cool and we're going to bump the machine up and get this. Okay, got a little tack on there now. I'll spin it so you guys can see this. I'm going to bump that up just a little bit. I'm going to go to 115. I want to get that a little bit warmer. And important, we got to have this metal super clean. I mean, if you have any, uh, any crud in the metal at all, you're going to get uh, porosity big time, and you'll know in the welds it'll be full of holes and look nasty. I don't know if I showed you guys this first little guy here that we're gonna come back to. That's the eighth inch material there. See, we got some nice color. We didn't get it too cooked, so 60 was about right uh, as far as amps goes on that one. Uh, this one here, this is just again no filler rod, so it was a little tougher to get this this filled. But that's what we ended up with there. And then we're going to go ahead and flip this guy over, but I'm going to uh, smash this down just a little bit real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, we'll just go ahead and pass over this, this, uh, Okay, that welded much easier because I had that backing I think on the other side and the metal was hot. So we got that one, so there's fuse. And then we'll uh, bump our machine back down to this uh, thinner material, back to the 60. There we go. Yep, and that the sweet spot on that was about 70 amps. Okay, we're going to try some filler rod on this smaller stuff here. Eighth inch material. So that's with the filler rod on the the eighth inch material. So we'll put that over here. Now that's our first filler material, so we'll set that over here. And we're going to go with filler in it. But I'm going to have to put a little uh, tack on that so I can set it up in there. So we're going to turn our uh, we're going to turn it up to about 120.
Alrighty. Alright, let's get some filler rod out there and make a pass with that. Get this guy up in our vise here. A little easier to work with it up here. Third hand man. Right on there like that. And we're going to go ahead and make a pass with some 332nd rod here for mild steel. About 140 amps. Do another little pass at that guy. Check this one out. So the difference between these two is this right here. This one is the filler rod. This one is the fuse. So we're going to take these. Ultimately, we're taking these over to the the vise and check them for strength, and then. going to do the same exact thing with the for the strength test and what do you got to say for yourself rack uh, he's saying that he thinks you ought to go on over here and uh, check out Glenn Miller on YouTube and uh, this guy does some really nice work with uh, a lot of the tools he's just made himself really really nice work good channel and another channel you guys should go over and check out here is Don's Hot Rod Garage. He's got a really good channel with a bunch of really cool 55s. Uh, we're trying to get Don here to 5K. He's going to get there pretty quick here. So go on over and check out Don's Hot Rod Garage. All right, guys, let's get to the strength test. Okay, so this first one we're going to test is the only one I have here that was done with a MIG welder 110 machine. It had 023 wire in it, and this one I, uh, I of course, there's no filler rod because it's just the uh, wire. So we're going to give this, we're just going to see how strong uh, running a pass on both of, of the side of this uh, 3 sixteenths is with that MIG. Wow, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to put a cheater bar on here. We're going to give this thing everything it's got. Okay. I'm thinking that this might hold up pretty darn good. Ugh. Pretty impressive. I think that would hold a body panel. So it looks like, to me, this weld is as strong as this metal. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull this out and show you guys this. I just hope the lighting is okay here. Yeah, it's not bad. So you see that? That was just a pass over the top with a little bit of, uh, you know, we just uh, put a little chamfer on the edges there. And, okay, so now the first test with the TIG welder is going to be the one that I did just fuse welding. Now, I had a comment from one of my uh, friends on YouTube, Sean, with Rusty Rods, and 
he was asking me when I was doing the trailer hitch stuff uh, why I was using the f filler some of the time and some of the time I wasn't. Well, if it was going to be something real structural, then I would run the filler rod on it and, of course, beef it up and bridge across and make it good. But if it's just something like my little uh, cover that just needed to put two pieces together that had no stress on it, then I feel pretty good about this. But let's go ahead and see how these two do uh, with the test. This was just the uh, fused one now. Okay, so that, that busted after about, you know, it was pretty strong, but that, that broke after, what, four or five times across. Let's just see if there is any difference between uh, this one where we ran a pass with the filler rod. We'll get, put it down here, make it as even, even as we can on these tests. Okay, let's go with this now. Okay, so we've proven already, without a question, that the filler rod in there, yeah, I just keep on going. It's like a piano hinge. It's like a, might as well put that hinge in my 55 Chevy. <laughs> okay, that's this one. Just, you know, it couldn't hold up. This one, on the other hand, Pretty nice. Just kept on bending. Okay, now we're jumping up to this uh, quarter inch material. We're gonna put this guy in here until it bottoms out. It'll be a fair test because I'll do it on the same way on the next one too. And let me get my wrench open on this guy and see how much she'll take. Okay. So just a moderate pull with the wrench and this is what we got right here. All right, so we're going to put this other one in here. And this was the one with with the filler rod. I see that whole thing. Wow, what a difference. Okay, so I think we've proved something. I'm gonna bring you guys into some light here. All right, so here we are. So this is our MIG welded piece here, the 3 16th with the 110 MIG, uh, and it was uh, 023 wire. I was super impressed with that because I just whipped across there um, you know, I could have actually went slower and probably got better penetration, but I was really impressed with with that little 110 machine. That would hold up pretty good. Um, the TIG welder now uh, with the 1 8 with no filler rod. That's what we ended up with there. I'm going to spin around so you guys can see a pretty good deal. See, it just, it just failed. There was nothing really holding those two pieces together. And then the one that we put the filler rod in... You know, as you can see, the weak point was bending up here, not on the weld. So I'm going to say the weld is at least as strong, if not stronger, than the metal itself. So I think that checked out real good as a good test on that one. And then we went over here to the uh, quarter-inch uh, mild steel, and there again, she failed right at the weld, you know, and... Uh, then when we went ahead and put in the uh, 3 seconds filler rod on it, and you got a weld across there, then um, it, it bent like a pretzel. So there you go. I think that that proves that the, when you run a filler rod in there that you're getting a lot stronger weld. All right, guys, that, that was a nice little test. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. So I'm going to take a little commercial break here for a second, and I wanted to uh, go over here. What do you got to say for yourself this time, Rat? Ah, he says that he thinks he should uh, 
go on over and see this YouTube channel, Drain Plug Garage. They're going to go live this uh, September 22nd at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So go over and check that out, guys. I think you'll really like, like these guys a lot. We might even see a motor start here. Okay, and then uh, there is one other one that you guys want to check out, and this is for sure, and this is BW's Garage, and him, he again goes live every Friday night at 8.30 Eastern. Go check out BW, and we will catch you there. All right, that was good stuff, Rat. Okay, guys, well, I'd like to thank you for coming by and checking out the channel, and hopefully uh, you enjoyed the video. And uh, go check out the channels that uh, we had up there on the board. And uh, till next time, be safe.